crystal. I've loved dolls my whole life. I collect everything from porcelain to cloth, American Girl, neonates, and real care dolls. But my favorite is to collect and make reborn dolls. There's Chloe, Grace, Jeremy, Maya, Yuki, Savannah, Zoe, Haley, Landon, Maisie, and Joshua. It isn't easy keeping up with my collection, but it sure is a lot of fun. Hi guys, I am here with another American Girl haul. And I also have some items from Maple Leaf that I'll be showing you after this. Um, forgot to bring them down for now, but we're gonna start with the American Girl stuff. So American Girl just came out with some new Truly Me outfits and these are really cool. So um, this is not all of them. Um, these were my main favorites for now that I got. I don't know if I'm going to get the rest of them or not, but these were the three main ones that I loved. And what they've done is they've come out with cultural holiday outfits. So the three that I got are the Diwali celebration outfit, the Lunar New Year's celebration outfit, and the Kwanzaa celebration outfit. American Girl also released um, a Hanukkah dress set, uh, a Christmas dress, and a Muslim outfit. I can't remember the name of the celebration that it's for. Um, <coughs> it starts with an E, but I can't remember how to pronounce it. Um, and so those are, so it's, I guess it's a total of six outfits that they come out with. But these three were my favorites. Um, two of them I already have dolls for that will wear it. Um, and another one I have a doll in mind that I am hoping to get uh, who will wear the outfit. Um... So without further ado, let's go in. So this is the Diwali celebration outfit. As you can see, it comes with a lot of pieces. I think out of all of them, this one was the more expensive one just because of the amount of pieces with it, I believe, if I remember correctly. Um, so let's open it up. So it has this beautiful top. The detail on this is amazing. So it's like um, a satiny, shimmery, um, pink top with embroidered yellow and green flowers all over. And then you have the matching skirt that is the same print, same color. Um, and it's like, a, what would you call that? It's like a crop top. It's called a choli, which is the top. Um, but like for me, like to describe it in English, um, it's like a crop top kind of thing. Um, so you put those two together and you can see it's just, the detailing is, I mean, wow. What, like, pictures are one thing, but sometimes like you can't really tell until you see in person. And I mean, this is just gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. How do we fold it to get it back in? doesn't matter anyway, because I'll be putting it um, in a Ziploc bag. But, um, and then it has these gold sandals. Kind of like flip-flop type sandals. And they're gold. And then there's the, um, what do you call this? 
I think it's called um, the Dupada, I think it's called. Um, it's like, that's like, it's kind of like a scarf that you put over your shoulders, I believe. I have to look at the picture again on, to make sure I put it on correctly. But um, for this outfit, this is the one that I have a, the doll that they um, show on the website wearing this is the doll I have, is the doll I've actually been eyeing for a while now. And so once they showed her um, modeling this outfit, it kind of solidified even more that I want to get her. And then they have these two pink beaded bracelets right there I believe they look like bracelets I think they're bracelets yeah two bracelets one necklace and ah okay and this is um I think this is the clay candle there's a name for it Daya I don't know if I'm saying that right it says clay candle I and it's gold I don't know how they can how they figure that's a clay candle when it's gold. I don't know the, um, I'll have to read about it. They have a booklet that explains so you can learn about the cultural celebration. Now, oh, this is beautiful. This necklace is gold and it has like these little teardrop, um, pendants on it. I don't know if it's going to focus. Come on, focus. I don't know if it's working. Um, but that is a beautiful necklace and it's a beautiful gold color. And then we have, um, these are bindis. Um, actually, one sticker card with bindi and stud sticky earrings. So, um, so the top one is the bindis, which you put on the forehead, and then the, the lower ones are actual stick-on earrings. And again, I have to say I am impressed because, again, just like the Halloween costume where they gave you um, multiple whisker stickers for the cat costume, this one gives you um, two pairs of stick-on earrings and four bindies. So that's fantastic because, like I said, when I had the bee, the bumblebee costume came with um, nail stickers. I believe they only gave you one set of nail stickers and they lose their stickiness and then you don't have them anymore. So these at least give you, you know, a few uses. So I think that's a great idea. I'm going to keep them in the plastic just to keep them protected. And then it comes with a brochure. So it says cultural celebrations. Um, girls in the United States and around the world celebrate all kinds of different holidays. Each celebration has special clothes, decorations, and traditions to go along with it. Which of these holidays have you celebrated? Which would you love to learn more about? So it goes through all the different ones. So like I said, they have Diwali, which is this one. And then you've got um, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, the Lunar New Year. Here it is, Id, 
id, I hope I'm saying that right, I apologize if I'm not, id al fitr, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, it's the Muslim holiday, so, oh, okay, so they only have one, two, they have five, so I guess the Christmas outfit they don't include in, in this, um, that's just a separate thing. So, okay, so I can see here in the picture that this is a clay candle holder um, and it shows the candles are in the holder here. Um, now, I don't see an actual candle in this. It's just the candle holder, which is a little odd. I hope that it's not missing a piece. Um, no. So you just get the candle holder, but it doesn't have a fake candle to put in it. Which is kind of odd. But, oh well. So it just looks like this. Huh. That's a little disappointing on that, but everything else in this is really fantastic um, really thought out well gorgeous detailing uh, I I just have to get the doll that I want to wear it she will be um, my East Indian uh, American girl doll so I don't know did they have it like this or like this they had it like this I think and then I have to put this in here okay um, so let's move on. Um, okay. I'll put the brochure out for now. Okay, so the next one is the Lunar New Year's celebration outfit. And this will be for my Asian American Girl doll to wear. I'm excited to put her in it. Now, of course, the Lunar New Year, I believe, is in February. So, I'll have to wait till February. Beautiful dress. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. So, it's red. Uh, has cap sleeves. And the cap sleeves have gold around the end of them. There's gold around the collar. Oh, it actually has, okay, so it's like, um, what do you call that? It's like a embroidered applique, 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 I don't know, um, button. And is it actual buttons or are they fake buttons? Um, they are fake. They are fake. There's three across. It's got the same gold trim around the, the collar and then it goes like across the body. So it almost has a, a wraparound look. And then it's got embroidery of gold and red leaves and flowers and vines. Um, the top is like a stiff kind of like plasticky sort of material. I don't know how you would ex like a satiny material I guess and then the skirt is tulle with that same kind of vinyl-y kind of plasticky bottom um and it has the same uh embroidered gold and red this is stunning and then you get these gold sparkly shoes. They're flats with a little part that goes around the ankle. Oh my gosh. And then there is a red barrette. A little red barrette right there. And there is some money one dollar us money or and i don't know how many there are in there does it say there are five 
five one dollar bills and then there is the um money envelope the red money envelope it says happy new year it's got colorful flowers all over it the happy new year is written in gold really cute um when i was taking care of jay uh, earlier this year, um, his mother was Chinese and so they celebrated the Lunar New Year and, um, she gave me, uh, money in an envelope similar to this that day. So, and then we've got cultural celebrations. So they all come with the same brochure, um, but I just, the embroidery on these outfits are incredible. The attention to detail is just amazing. American girls really hit it out of the park with these. The detail is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I cannot, for the life of me, close that box. Okay, and then the final one is the Kwanzaa outfit. And I think I'm going to put this one on Gabriella because I think Gabriella is the only African American, um, American girl doll that I have, I believe. Um, I apologize guys. I'm trying to sit here to do this and I'm not very comfortable because usually I would be kneeling but I cannot kneel today because two days in a row I fell on the sidewalk, on pavement, on the same leg, two days in a row. <laughs> and uh, I, am in, I am bruised, I'm in pain, it's horrible. So the Kwanzaa outfit also has sort of like a crop top. It's like a yellowy orangey color with red, green, and black. Um, the prints are like, I don't really know how to describe them, um, zigzags and then like lines and dots. Um, and yeah, for those who are wondering why I describe everything in my videos, it's because I have viewers who are visually impaired and so they rely on the descriptions verbally. Um, so I just wanted to mention that again because it's been a while since I've talked about that. Um, and then here is the skirt, which is the exact same print as the top. And it's like a long skirt. And then we have, wow, this is, holy cow. Okay, so then we have a headband that is the same print as the dress and the shirt. We've got these little sandals that are black strappy sandals. There's a strap that goes around the heel and the ankle and across the toes. And then we have, um, oh, what is this? I think this is a, is it a bracelet? What do we have? It's a bracelet. Uh, yeah, it's a bracelet. So, um, the bracelet is black. Um, it's on black string, oh, super tiny. Um, and it has black, red, and green beads on the black cord. And then we have, wow. So it actually has, these aren't real candles though, right? <laughs> I don't think so. There's candles. They're not real though. I don't think so. Hold on. I gotta see what they look like. Okay, they're just plastic. They're plastic candles. Um, they don't have an actual wick on them. So there's three green ones, a black one, and three red ones. 
So I'm going to leave them in there just for protection purposes. And then we've got a cup. I'm sure there's a special name for this. Um, let me check. This is called the Unity Cup. And then there's a candle holder instead of candles. And what else? Um, a mat. There's a mat. Okay, so this is the Unity Cup. It's black. It's just kind of like, um, it reminds me of like a wine glass, but it's black. There's like a name for that, and I'm trying to, it, it's escaping me. A goblet? It's like a goblet style cup. And then wrapped in um, foam to keep it safe. This is the black candle holder. Oh, it's fairly big. It's got some white print on each side and then you put your candles in there. I'm assuming it's a little similar to lighting the Hanukkah candles in that um, you light one candle each night, I believe. I could be wrong. I'm going to have to read all about it. Um, but I, I, I am interested to learn about it. And that's what's really cool about this is that it's going to give, um, it, it's going to educate people on different cultures and their celebrations. So here's the mat. And it just has like a zigzag print of white, green, red, and black. And the edging is black. And it's almost like, um, like a hemp material. So there's that. Yeah, I'm just going to keep the candles and stuff in the packaging just to make sure that everything stays protected. And I'll put the bracelet. So that is the, uh, the new American Girl cultural outfits. Now I'm just going to go quickly grab um, the couple of Maple Leaf items that I ordered. I don't have a lot to show you, but let me grab them. Okay guys, so the first thing I got are these pace setters. And basically I I realized that no my $10 store credit had not been applied to my previous order. So I decided to use it to get some shoes. So I got these shoes. These are cute. They're like little slip-on sporty shoes in a turquoise color with fake laces going across. Now, Maple Leaf shoes are a little hit and miss in terms of fitting on American Girl dolls. I know this style will fit. Um, they will be a little wide, I believe, and a little long. Like, there'll be a little bit of excess in the heel, but overall they should fit well. Where I seem to run into issues sometimes with their shoes is uh their boots so i do hope that these boots i ordered will work out because when i saw these i thought of my taylor swift doll i've been trying to find boots like this for her um because they're very reputation era boots and so these are called what are these called? These are called high stepping boots. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. The journal page is showing things from Toronto, like Riverdale Farm, Castle Loma, and Black Creek Pioneer Village. I love those places. I have taken many kids I've nannied ugh, to these places. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to get down without kneeling on my knee because it's going to kill me. Okay, so these are just tall, very tall black lace-up boots. And so I really hope these will work. Um, I hope I can somehow squish Taylor's <laughs> feet into these. I know I have um, 
a pair of their winter boots and I managed to get them on but they were hard they're very hard to get on you have to really like have some arm power I had to get Alex to help me <laughs> to like jam the foot in there but once you get them on like they're pretty good um I guess the only thing I worry about is I just hope that there's enough room around the leg that it'll be wide enough to fit around the American Girl legs. So we'll see. I will have to try them out. I think they should work. I really hope they do because I've had one heck of a time finding, um, finding boots that work for her. And ugh. so, yeah, it's been a little difficult to find. I don't even remember how these were in here. Wait. I don't know how they had them in here. Oh, they had them like this. I think. Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But anyway. So, um Yeah. I'm kind of curious now what's on this journal page in terms of photos or if they have any photos uh, it just it just has like a thing about running oh. okay well, I thought I'd check so anyways guys that is my um, American Girl and Maple Lee haul I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the new American Girl, um, the new American Girl cultural celebrations outfits. I think they are beautiful. Um, I don't know if I'll get the other ones just for the fact that I don't have dolls that could wear the other ones. Um, like, what's the other ones? The Ed, or Id, however you say it, outfit. Um, I mean, the Hanukkah one, I could put on some of my dolls, but I don't know. Um, I really like the Id outfit, but I just don't have a doll that I feel like it would work with. And I have to limit, like, I'm running out of room, so I can't get many other American Girl dolls. And I still need to get a custom uh, to look like Taylor Swift's boyfriend to go with my Taylor doll. So, yeah. But the one for the Diwali outfit, I've been eyeing her for a while and I've been really wanting her. So she's definitely one I will be getting. But I can't. I just can't think I don't have any dolls in my collection that look like I don't I I don't have any Muslim dolls that could wear that I wish I did yeah I mean I don't know see Leah I think has like a Brazilian background but I could, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to be curious to see which dolls people use for that outfit. Uh, because obviously, like, if I get the cultural outfits, I want to make sure that I'm putting them on a culturally appropriate doll. Like, so the Kwanzaa is going to go on my African American doll. And the Asian one's going to go on my Asian doll, like the Chinese New Year one. Um, and then, like I said, when I get the other doll that will wear the Diwali outfit. So, yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. I, I should probably look at the website to see what doll they use for the id outfit. Um, yeah. I'm just curious which dolls look like that ethnicity 
Um, I don't think I have any that do. But that's okay. I mean, like... I think I'm happy with just these three. I don't know if I'll get the other ones. I don't know if I'm going to get the new Christmas dress either. Um, I have a lot of Christmas dresses already. I think I may have enough Christmas dresses for all of my American girls already. I don't know if I need another one. I guess I'll have to see when I dress them all for Christmas. And if it looks like if I do come up short and I don't have a Christmas dress, then maybe I'll get it. But until then, I'm just kind of like holding off on it because it's not, it's okay. It's a pretty dress, but it's not, it doesn't like blow my mind like some of their previous Christmas dresses did. Um, and I, and I feel like it's somewhat similar to the British dress, um, which I plan to get that one. So it's kind of like one or the other for me. So I don't know, but. I know people have done a comparison of the two and there are differences between them. Um, they're both very pretty, but I don't know. I feel like I can take it or leave it for the new Christmas dress for this year. Um, I'm just kind of trying to be a little more intentional with the AG stuff that I buy now because like I'm running out of room. I think I'm going to have to do a purge soon of some American Girl stuff. I know I have some outfits that I bought years ago that are not really my thing anymore. So I might be listing those for sale on like Marketplace or something soon or whatever or like the Canadian AG group. Um, I find it's like it doesn't really work for me to list stuff to sell uh, to the U.S. because shipping is so expensive to the U.S. that most people don't want to pay it. So, and I can't do free shipping. Like it's too expensive and it just doesn't work out. So, um, it's kind of hard like to sell to the U.S. when you're in Canada. Um, but anyways, yeah, so that's kind of where things are going with that. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time. Bye!